Oh, y'all, the drama of it all. Hi, family, by the way. I am at work on my last break slash lunch break. I didn't even get a lunch today because I had to go and get an ID card for the job. So I was off. Well, not off, but out of the building for like three hours because the Deer's office is slow. So I'm just getting back. Missed my lunch, so I'm on my last 15 because I get off in like 45 minutes. But baby the drama so apparently a customer got caught i work in the commissary if you guys didn't know i don't think i said it but i work in the commissary and a customer got caught between two doors trying to get out of the building so he like starts banging on the door like freaking out like somebody let me out so one of the cashiers older white woman she goes up and before the manager can even go and unlock the door to let the man out. She's like, oh, call the MPs. Call them, please, because he is out irate. So the manager lets the man in through the door, tell him which door he's supposed to take to get out of the building. So as the man is going out, there's an older couple who are in, like, the wheelchair carts trying to go out of that door. So he's waiting behind them for them to go through the door so he can go through the door. So while he's waiting, another cashier, younger white girl, is like, um, and you can't come back here anymore either. So then the man flips out. He starts calling her all kinds of bees and shut the F up. And I'm not even talking to you like, baby. <laughs> so now the girl is still calling. Now the younger white girl is calling for the MPs and he's like, Y'all go ahead and call the MPs. Ain't nobody scared of the MPs. Like, I got PTSD. I'm trapped between two doors. And the people are just looking at me like I'm crazy. Nobody's opening it. Like, man, it's going off. He's like, And then you just keep coming and saying slick stuff. And I wasn't even talking to you. Didn't even concern you. And she just steady going, like, word for word with him. Arguing with him. <sighs> so I think I took my break because I was just over it at this point. Because, I mean, I feel where he was coming from. Why are y'all calling MPs? Like, you barely could understand what the man was trying to say through the doors when he was banging on it. So why was that automatically, oh, call the MPs, he's irate. And if he said he has PTSD, he felt like he was trapped. Like, many people are claustrophobic, like, get in an elevator and they feel like they're trapped and they start freaking the heck out. But whatever, I guess, I guess we can't do that. <laughs> you can't feel claustrophobic or feel trapped and start to go through some things because they're going to call the MPs. So he was like, I want to speak to the manager. Where's the older gentleman who owns, who is the supervisor here? And they're like, oh, he's not here today. It's like, oh, I need to speak to a manager. Like, I got time today. Like, let me just take my 15 minutes, eat my lunch, mind my business. But brother made a force be with you because they quick to call cops in here. Okay, guys, I'm back home. I actually, like, this is my second time being home because I came here off of work and then I realized I didn't have my phone. So I had to run back to work and it was in the break room on the table just sitting there. So I'm back home again. And I'm about to make the pulled pork for tomorrow. So I'm going to show you guys what I season my pulled pork with. Again, this was a recipe that I got off of Pinterest and I just tweaked it over the years. But yeah, it's really simple. And it really doesn't require much. Like, you don't really have to do anything to it other than season it and put it in the oven and leave it overnight. And then pull it apart, add some barbecue sauce. Super simple. So let's get started. Okay, so I figured I might as well tell y'all what I'm using to season everything with because it is a lot of ingredients for me to like write it across the screen, but I'm going to just tell y'all. <laughs> um, okay, 
So you're going to need two thirds cup of white sugar, two thirds cup of brown sugar, tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of paprika, tablespoon of chili powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of pepper, and the Grillmates brown sugar bourbon seasoning packet, one of these. Okay, so you take, I take a bowl, put all my ingredients in there, all my measurements and spices, put it in the bowl, and then you'll see. We'll just take all the spices once we put it in here and just put it all over our pork. It's so simple, like I promise you. So y'all get that two third cup of both sugars, white and brown, one tablespoon of salt, pepper, paprika, chili powder, onion powder, and two tablespoons of garlic powder, and one Grill Mates bourbon brown sugar packet. All right, now for real, we're, we're gonna get started now. Here we go, here we go again Trying hard but you wanna be my friend Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to Here we go, here we go again Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you Okay, so here she is, all seasoned up, and as you can see, I used a lot of it, and I tried to get, like, some of the seasoning inside of all of those um, cuts that I put in it, that you guys saw me stabbing it when I was washing it off in the sink. All of those cuts, I tried to get some of the seasoning inside of that, so 
Now this goes in the oven uncovered on 350 all night long. And I know you're like, what you said? I said all night long. Like when I first saw the recipe and I saw that it wanted me to leave food in the oven all night long, I was skeptical. But it doesn't burn. It's not going to burn your house down. You're just cooking it. Like if 350 seems too high for you, you can put it on 300, 325. But again, you're going to leave it on all night long. And then that's just going to help it to where when you wake up in the morning and you go pull it out, it's like going to be like butter. Like it's going to fall apart all on its own. You're going to be so bleh. <laughs> it's going to be so easy to shred it and pull it apart because, again, it's going to be so tender like butter. And then you can – it's going to – the reason why it's not going to burn, let me explain that, is because this is a pork shoulder. And you all know – pork comes with all the fat that you will ever need so it's going to make its own juice and so that is why it doesn't burn so when you wake up not only will it be tender but it will be full of juice in the pan because all that fat from the pork shoulder will have melted and rendered down and so that is what makes your juice but okay I'm going to put this in the oven and move on to the next thing which is wrapping my secret Santa's gift because that is also due for tomorrow all wrapped I put the um tissue paper like ow something's in my eye and I really don't know what it could be but the tissue paper I put at the bottom I crinkled it up because I wanted it to look like snow um one of the gifts that Thomas's secret Santa gave him she had used cotton balls at the bottom to look like snow and I thought that was really cute but I don't like the feeling of cotton I just can't like you ever like I'm getting completely sidetracked right now but just to explain how much I don't like it and why I don't like the feeling of cotton you ever have a glove on that's like made out of wool or something like that and you go to take it off like with your teeth just to pull it off and it makes that noise like just oh it sends chills up my spine so I didn't want to use the cotton balls it was cute but not for me so I just crinkled, 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 crinkled up the tissue paper to try to make it look like snow. Eh, sort of, kind of. Like, it's okay. It'll, it suffices. Like, it serves as, like, a grounding for the spray and for the lotion and the body wash so that they're not just wobbling all around in there. So, 
But okay, GIF is wrapped. Um, pulled pork, well the pork right now is in the oven cooking. That will be done in the morning. And yeah, I'll be sure to like take a picture of it tomorrow to show you guys for day eight vlog of like how it came out, what it looked like, all that stuff. And really all you're gonna do once the pulled pork comes out of the oven, all you're gonna do, grab your barbecue sauce, pull the pork apart, shred it up, put your barbecue sauce in it, mix it all together. Like honestly, I don't, you can if you want to, but I don't even pour out the juice that is in the pan that like from the fat and like the seasonings all mixing together. That juice, I don't pour it out. I let that mix in with the um, barbecue sauce and the pulled pork. I feel like it makes it moist so it's not a dry pulled pork, but to each its own, do what you do. But all right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Can I take you there?